Hi, I'm Ray Gesson with Chimney Sweeps International, and this is a topic on lentil joints. <laughs> interesting, lentil joints are interesting. Here's the reason why. You've got a chimney that's being built. It's got the full chimney structure, everything's going fine. All this other stuff. Now, that you have a chimney that's on its own foundation, own stuff, it has been uh, required by codes that says that the chimney can only hold its own self and nothing else. Now, you put a face over top of that chimney and that is what is in the front of your fireplace uh, that is your fireplace opening. Now that brickwork goes around your chimney and it also ties to your exterior framing and exterior uh, studs and it has a thing called a collar joint uh, that goes in between your chimney and your front brick facing. That sounds kind of complicated, but it really isn't. It's two independent structures. Here's what happens. Your chimney settles, house settles, and it has differential settlement going on. And what ends up happening is, is that the collar joint in between the two just a little bit of movement and it cracks and it d d deteriorates and does all kinds of bad stuff. And then you get yourself a thing called a cracked or gapped lentil joint. It's called a lentil joint at that spot right there on the top. So what happens? Heat and gas goes up in this deteriorated cracked lentil joint and, and just a few, uh, could be a few inches to 12 inches to a certain amount, you've got a stud cavity wall above it. If the lentil joint heats up, it goes up on top, ends up heating up the uh, stud cavity wall and you get yourself a house fire. That's not good. Another problem with a lentil joint is, is that the lentil joint sometimes is made with either regular mortar, which is bad, or even a fire clay mortar that isn't a, a, a acceptable type of mortar. Even though brick masons use it, it still isn't a refractory mortar. So the easiest way to solve this is that you'll go inside of the gapped lentil joint and you'll take tubes of ASTMC 199 refractory mortar and inject it inside of the hole inside of that gap lentil joint. You're filling it up. I've filled up five tubes of refractory mortar sometimes. But then after it's filled, this is your new collar joint. You'll seal the whole bottom portion of it using refractory mortar so it keeps the heat from going inside that cavity. So sometimes you'll wonder, if it cracked once, is it gonna crack again? Nine times out of 10, it doesn't. And here's why. Your home settles and your chimney settles. It usually takes in between three to 10 years to have your home completely settle. It takes three to 10 years to have your chimney settle. So both of them has settled differently and it's caused these gaps. It's after 10 years that you can fill it up and they're not settling differently anymore and it's through.